the National Academy's um, Roundtable on Population Health Improvement has similarly explored some of these issues through a range of workshops that have looked at the different factors that shape health outcomes. And one idea that um, um, we've, we've uh, discussed a few times as, as part of the workshops is actually a concept that was developed by a climate change nonprofit. Um, the, the term they coined is multi-solving. So mm -hmm. the idea, very similar to what you're talking about, the idea of hitting a number of problems in a concerted, harmonized way. Um, so very much like the, the task force in Maryland um, and in California. California has their Strategic Growth Council that has a health and health policies task force. So the same idea that across departments you're thinking, how, how will this policy um, harm or help? How will this policy harm or health? How could they work together to achieve what we call co-benefits, yeah. um, sort of these these win-wins that can help us win allies and help them realize that it's mm -hmm. worth doing this because we're going to achieve a, a, an accomplishment or achievement here and here, an improvement in this type of outcome and this type and of just, outcome. It's more efficient that way, too. Yes, right. absolutely. And as, as, as regular citizens, you know, your residents, they're assuming that we're working together like that yes. already. <laughs> but that's yes. not the reality. Right. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stovepipe mm -hmm. and compartmentalization. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. I mean, California is actually a great model, even when you're going like to, to the built environment side and think about building healthy community ecosystems. They have this whole green zone mm -hmm. approach in California mm -hmm. where they're looking at hazards, you know, exposure disparities, and they're trying and they're focused resources and looking at making communities more resilient. Mm -hmm. So some people mm -hmm. don't like the term resiliency because some I like to say some terms were some mm -hmm. communities were never resilient. Mm -hmm. So what do you, what do we mean when we when we apply that framework to different communities? But that may be another way to how can you make communities more resilient in the face of some of these um, stressors. And then mm -hmm. and those stressors, whether it be economic stress or other stressors, can lead to negative health outcomes for population. They could be Absolutely. and they also exacerbate other health mm -hmm. conditions.